You know, a lot of people have been asking whether or not it's a good idea to buy Hex before Pulse Chain launches or afterwards. And guys, this seems like such an obvious answer to me. If you don't see this already, I'll try to explain this in a really short video, so stick around. I'm going to explain my thought process behind it. But guys, if you can't see the opportunity on the table right now, and especially after this video, I, I really don't know what to tell you. Let me be clear, I am not in the business of telling people what to do with their money. I'm not a financial advisor. And cryptocurrency in general is about thinking for yourself, taking responsibility for your own actions, and using your actual brain to make a decision, okay? So don't just go to some guy on YouTube and claim that he's some guru and then make your decision based on what some guy on YouTube said, okay? Do it because you understand the actual logic behind your decision and why you're doing it. And think in the bigger picture, guys. Think more long term. Stop thinking day to day and week to week. That's the number one mistake that everybody in crypto makes is short term thinking and trading. And that's how they wreck themselves, right? But getting back to the topic at hand, what about Hex? Okay, is it good to buy Hex now or should you wait till later? Well, again, this is my thought process about what I would do. So let me just try to lay it out really slowly and plain. Guys, if you buy Hex now, if you have Hex in your MetaMask wallet now, and guys, I really recommend MetaMask because you need to own your own private keys. MetaMask is a self-sovereign wallet. It's what we call non-custodial. It means it's not Coinbase or Binance because in those cases, those companies technically own all your money. They can do whatever they want with it. They can shut it off and they're not going to give you the Pulse Chain airdrop. Okay. You need to have a self-custodied wallet like MetaMask. Okay. So if you have coins in your MetaMask today, you're going to get a copy of them when Pulse Chain launches. Now, what sounds better, guys? A copy of two versions of your coin, one on Ethereum and one on Pulse Chain, or just one on Pulse Chain. Guys, what sounds better? What sounds better? More coins or less coins? I don't know. It's up to you. Now, you'll also get a copy of your stakes, right? And why would you want to stake today, right now versus later? Well, guys, again, I've talked about this in all kinds of videos, but one of the primary dynamics of hacks is that the share price always goes up in hex terms if we go to go.hex.com and go to the stake tab which is where you're going to do all your staking if you're not familiar with hex staking by now uh, the share price here is always going up every time stakes are created or destroyed this goes up in hex terms now because the, the usd price of hex it goes up and down the share price in usd can go up and down along with the price of hex but you're never going to find a cheaper rate per hex per t-share than today okay and it's getting more expensive every day. So Hex is all about a battle for shares. If you're interested in making money long term and investing on a yearly time scale and actually getting the giant interest in APY that everybody's getting today. So it's 20,229 Hex per t-shirt today. Tomorrow, it's going to be a little bit higher. We're on day 772 since Hex's launch. On day 773, this number is going to be a little bit higher. So people want to lock in their stakes now because then they have a stake on Ethereum and a stake on Pulse Chain when Pulse Chain comes out. So yes, your stakes are copied, your liquid hex is copied, the entire Ethereum system state is copied, okay? That's the cool thing about Pulse Chain. So whether or not you're gonna get liquid hex or staked hex now, it just exposes you for the most opportunity when Pulse Chain hits the market. What do I mean by that? Well, well, as I said in previous videos, it's pretty likely that some of the primary top liquidity pairs on PulseX.com, which is gonna be like Uniswap, but on Pulse Chain. Some of the primary most liquid pairs are gonna be PLS hex, PLS X hex, PLS X PLS, and hex E hex, right? So a lot of hex pairs are going to be likely the most active and most liquid. Do you guys know that Pulse Chain was originally created to save hex holders from crazy high gas fees? Essentially, people using the hex smart contract were experiencing such high gas fees, especially on the end stake function, that a lot of people were priced out of onboarding. And this is true with a lot of applications built on Ethereum right now. You can't get new people in because it costs hundreds of dollars to even pay for the gas fees to transfer your coins in and to do any computations on Ethereum. So Pulse Chain was originally intended to save the hex holders, okay? But it's also going to save everybody that wants to migrate over. So it's just a nice side effect. If you're going to copy Ethereum, you might as well just copy every single coin as well, right? Also a genius marketing tool because it's the world's largest airdrop, right? So whether you like hex or not, you have some kind of vested interest in at least checking out Pulse Chain and seeing, you know, if your coins are worth anything and seeing how cheap and fast it really is. It's going to be beautiful. So Pulse Chain is a Richard Hart product. Hex is a Richard Hart product. There's a lot of overlap here, guys. A lot of people that are Hex holders are also Pulse Chain fans. Now, if you're a Pulse Chain fan, you're not necessarily a Hex holder yet. But if you're a Hex holder, it's pretty, pretty likely, like 99.9% .9 sure that you are going to be a Pulse fan and a Pulse Chain fan as well. I mean, people in the know know that Richard Hart does not make bad products. 
So it's pretty reasonable to assume that the hex holders are going to be the primary users on Pulse Chain when Pulse Chain launches. Okay. And obviously everyone's welcome, right? There's going to be a lot more than just hex holders, but the primary early adopters are going to be the hex holders, right? And so with all this hex activity going on, people are going to be staking and transferring and bridging over from Ethereum to Pulse Chain right from day one. And hex is likely going to be one of the top used smart contracts other than obviously PulseX for trading. And Hex on Ethereum is going to have a different price than Hex on Pulse Chain. They're going to be two coins with the same smart contract, but different prices. Now, would you rather have two coins with a price and a value or just one? Even if Hex on Ethereum goes down, guys, it might sell off to a degree. But once the liquidity provided to the Hex eHex pair reaches a certain rate, then the prices will move in lockstep with each other. So for example, if Hex goes up 5% on the Pulse Chain, then eHex may go up, you know, 4.9% in value. So because of complex liquidity dynamics that I've explained on previous videos, these coins, I believe, will eventually move in tandem with each other in terms of their daily price movements. And that's due to the liquidity that can be provided on the eHex Hex pair on PulseX.com. So getting two coins for the price of one right now seems like a pretty good deal, especially due to the fact that we're 50% off of all time highs. You need to ask yourself, when Pulse Chain launches in about two to three months, Let's say, do you think the price is going to be higher or lower than it is now? I mean, we're already 50% off from all time highs, guys. So to me, it looks like Hex is on a discount. So not only are you locking in Hex now at a price of 22, 23 cents, but you're going to get a copy of all those coins and they're going to have their own individual prices. So when the dust all settles, do you agree that the sum of the two parts is going to be greater than the whole, right? Do you think that Hex on Pulse Chain plus Hex on Ethereum is going to have a greater price than Hex did pre-fork? Now that's up to you. Again, I don't have a crystal ball. They might temporarily be lower. People might temporarily sell out. But I think if you realize all the bullish things going on for Hex behind the scenes and the bright, bright future that it has ahead of it, you're not going to want to miss out on this. So it just seems like a no brainer to me. Why wouldn't you want to expose yourself to the most opportunity? You know, if you get Hex now, you get a copy. If for some reason you don't have your Pulse bag or your Pulse X bag, you can use your copy of your liquid Hex to make some strategic plays in terms of buying or selling to get Pulse or Pulse X, you know, at the launch. And that's if you missed it, right? The Pulse X sacrifice phase is obviously still going on. But if you missed Pulse, that might be one idea as well. But like I said, guys, also, if you want to do a staking ladder, T shares are the cheapest now that they ever will be in hex terms. So keep that in mind as well. This includes the time of the fork. Uh, if you really want to make long term wealth, this is how people are doing it. If you're in this for a short trade or a quick flip, likely this whole thing isn't for you, you're probably going to have a bad time and you're really at risk of losing money here. So if you're a short term trader, you know, Hex probably is not for you at all. And if you really want to see the massive life changing wealth that people are making in crypto, it comes from long term investing. So if you have this short term mindset and you can't get over that, I would try to get out of crypto in general because crypto is not for you. Also, like I say repeatedly, the price that you pay for the mad gains is extreme volatility. So if you don't have the stomach to hold through a 50% or even an 80% dip, well, dips are in the game, guys, especially with new coins. There's a lot of volatility. When Pulse Chain launches, Hacks on Pulse Chain might dip, you know, 80%. It might dip that much, right? If you can't hold through that and you're going to shake yourself out, then there's no point of even investing. You have to bank on the fact that Hex is going to be around for years and years to come, decades even, okay? It was designed to outlast our lifetimes. So I think what people don't understand is that you're still such an early adopter of Hex, right? Buying Hex today at today's prices after day 772 of its existence is like buying Bitcoin at eight or nine dollars. OK, eight or nine dollars. Now, a lot of people would have said, oh, I'm too late for Bitcoin because it already went from a penny to nine dollars. And they didn't see the bigger picture and step back and realize the thousand X potential that it had after that point, even because as we know, after that point, you know, in nine or ten more years, it went to sixty nine thousand dollars. This is incredible life changing wealth. So. You can almost look at Hex launching on Pulse Chain as Hex launching again. It's like getting a second chance to be involved in the launch of Hex. And you could buy it beforehand so that you get your forked copy over on Pulse Chain right now. You could do that now today. Like I said, Pulse Chain was intended to free the Hex holders from astronomically high gas fees that were taking advantage of everybody and just preventing onboarding. So Hex is basically getting a fresh start. That's how I look at it. When it launches on Pulse Chain, that's when the onboarding and the adoption can really happen, right? Think about how small of a number of hex holders there are right now. There's about 80,000 stakers in the system. And think about how much the price rose with only 80,000 stakers, with massive gatekeeping, massive hating left and right, and people not really understanding what hex is all about. Guys, the sentiment is shifting. People are starting to catch on to what hex really is. 
So you're still early in terms of Hex's existence. It's barely over two years old. And again, Pulse Chain is going to be like a launch pad by which to onboard new people. It's going to be so much easier to tell the world about Hex when they only have to pay a few pennies to get in and buy and stake rather than a few hundred dollars, okay? This is paradigm shifting stuff. So if you're thinking about buying Hex now versus waiting, well, guys, double your coins, double your liquid coins, double your staked coins. Also realize there's all this hype around Pulse Chain. There's all this hype around Hex on the Pulse Chain. Hex is basically just getting started on the Pulse Chain, right? It's almost like it's having a new inception, a new birthday. But then, guys, you've got Hex on Ethereum, which is not going away. Yeah, people might sell it off at first, but it's not going anywhere. And there's still a bunch of holders holding the price up right now. And even if it does take a dip, again, liquidity dynamics can tie the prices of eHex and Hex on Pulse Chain together. So I think that's really cool. And I'm personally still holding both. I'm still staked in both for a long time. And I feel like it's a no-brainer whether or not to buy it now and get your copy, your clone, basically free coins, or wait and not get any free coins and then just buy it on Pulse Chain. It's also going to be so much easier from a user experience flow. If you just hold Hex at the time of the snapshot, the coins just automatically appear in your Pulse Chain wallet in your MetaMask by clicking one button. Guys, you just click this one button up here. See where it says Ethereum mainnet? Well, I'm switching to Pulse Chain testnet right now, but that's going to one day say Pulse Chain mainnet, guys. This one day is going to say Pulse Chain mainnet, and it's that simple. You just flip-flop in this Networks tab of your MetaMask account. So it's so easy. And then once you do that, you know, rather than having to take all these convoluted steps, if you wait till after the launch, right, you're going to have to buy Hex or buy something on Ethereum, right, to get your money into the ecosystem. You're going to have to bridge over to Pulse Chain, and then you're going to have to trade whatever you bought for Hex on Pulse Chain. Right? That's like a three-step process. It involves a gas fee transaction to bridge from one chain to another. Why not just take the simple route and buy coins now and have a clone in your copy ready to go? Guys, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I have no idea what the prices will do. And if anybody claims that they know anything for sure, they're definitely lying. Okay. So all I'm here to do is expose the thought process behind buying Hex now or waiting till after the Pulse Chain launch. Hopefully this makes sense and you can read between the lines here. Thanks and I'll see you on the next video.